Hello everyone and you're so much welcome to today's tutorial and I still remain your show make it made easy tutor Odurole Mojibola today I'm going to be showing us how to create this beautiful open toe mold and then um, I find out that this can actually be done simply using both your last and then um, your free hand and i'm going to be showing you how you can do this in about 10 to 15 minutes and then um, you will be done and if you're watching my channel for the first time i want you to know that all i do is simplify shoemaking i try as much as possible to show you the simple tricks and techniques that is involved in pattern cutting that is involved in positioning at, that is involved in lasting as well as finishing appropriately well. Sometimes, of course, we delve into sales and marketings of our product. Now, today, I need you to, to, to sit back. Yes, sit back. If you care for a drink, a cold one, get it by your side, a cup of popcorn. Wow, 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 wow. And I'm gonna be right back. All right, as far as this open toe mode design is concerned, I'm actually going to be using my shoe last. I know most times what I do is I actually use a paper grid method or I decide to use a kind of measurement to guide us. But today I'm going to actually be using this process to actually make this. What do you need? You definitely need a shoe last. You need a shoe last, not the one that is open, uh, you know, not the one that is open here that can be used for, you know, Tongi sanders, but you need something like this if you are going to actually try this. And if you have an open toe, I mean, I, I mean, you have um, an open shoe last, you can actually use it. But definitely, it means that you might need to work on the shape if it doesn't look like what you need. So I believe so strongly that as long as it's not open, it can actually do this for you, even if it is actually a main shoe last. As long as it is not open, you can use it for this. So I need you to follow me. I'm big. I'm basically going to be outlining what I have as the shape of my shoe last. So I'm going to be stopping. Of course, I want that particular mold more to stop around here. That is why my paper tape is actually stopping here. So it doesn't matter. Just make sure that you are at actually the the what did they call it? The instep. You understand? Make sure that you are targeting the instep because of course that will be where it's going to be handing as you can see on the screen it just went down and came this way so like i said it's going to be a quick one just outline it this way this is what i am going to be doing you can see i dropped it again outline it this way oh, let me outline it and do the same thing on the other side and this is what you are going to be having now from this particular one all you need to do is to expand all of this all around expand it now your average for expansion is actually not a, an issue i would suggest that when you want to draw your own let it be towards one side i might actually have to do that here so that or i move it towards this side let me do that let me move it towards the side so that we have enough space on this other side so it means we have to draw again So you can see what I have just like that. So what am I going to do now? Don't forget we are going to be using this. Let me expand a little bit. Now I'm going to actually be having this. So what I'm going to do now is I just, I'm going to expand the side. I mean all of this side, this shape that I have here, I will expand it all around by about seven centimeter or eight centimeter. Please, I just need you to follow me. Let me try to, yes. So I'm going to be expanding by, let's say like seven. Even if the seven does not go around all of them, I may not need as much as seven. You understand? But just follow me and see what I'm trying to do. Now, this side, I'm not going to do anything. I'll just leave it like that. I'll come down and then leave it like that because it's not up to seven. Just come down and then I have... You know seven right here i will also have it here so let's say it joins together here those are my extension 
so this is my extension here all of them came this way you understand so with this i can just do like add let it come and meet it here you can see what i just did so it's just the curve just the curve by the side that's what i extended let me show us what it looks like so just this particular one don't forget um, we are no more using this please don't be confused so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to just trim it out for us to see so let's start from here so i'm going to trim them separately if you want to trim together you can trim i think it's supposed to, this is supposed to be touching this not the outer one so Now you can see what it looks like. Now the extension we made as well. Let's trim that out. Don't mind the fact that all of them does not have the same length. Please, when you want to create yours, ensure that you try as much as possible for them to be the same length. Please try as much as possible. Although, like I said, I may not be using as much as 7 cm width that I use. But please try and work on that so that you have enough. Basically, that is the reason. So, according to our design, you can see this is what I'm going to be using for the center. Yes, that center, that pattern at the center that looks this way. That is what I'm going to be using. What do I do to that? Please, let's leave the side first. Let's come to this. I'm going to measure about one centimeter because this is round except you want yours to be round if you don't want it to be round all you need to do is just to try to make it straight so i'm going to be measuring one centimeter downward mm, that is one centimeter then now for the length how long i want that that in um, particular design to look like now most times when you look at such design it's only men that tends to come to their end step. Women, when you are creating that kind of an open toe mold for women, you, you of course, it's not supposed to, re except you want it like that. But most times, I stop before the end step. So I'm going to be measuring nine centimeter, which means I'm going to place my meter root this way. You can see it. This is one centimeter. Then I'm going to stop at 10. I want the length to be 10. So if you are not sure that you can actually, you know, position it to be straight, please ensure that you use a T-square or a tri-square, whichever one is called. So that is what you are going to be having there. If you want it to be wider than this, you can let your home be wider. But I think this is about 3 centimeter or 3.5. See, it's even much more than 3.5. It's about um, um, 3.7. Um, so that is what the front will look like. So on this other side, I'm also going to try as much as possible. Let me see to actually draw a line. It might be a bit slant. Yes, you might have to make it a bit slant, but not too slant. So that is from here to here is nine centimeter for my own size, which is 39 according to my shoe size. Shoe last. If you want yours to be bigger than this, please, it's not a problem. So whatever shape you want it to have, go ahead and shape it by the side. Go ahead and then um, shape it by the side. I don't think I need to do this extra that I'm doing, but just shape it. You need to make use of a sandpaper to finish it well. Please do that. So from what I have right here, let me try to... So from what I have right here, I'm going to place this here. Try to centralize it. So don't forget that you will find out that the design is actually a very wonderful one. Make sure you centralize this. That is your first assignment centralize this 
and definitely it has to move forward because you just have a little open to air so make sure it goes forward a little bit don't forget to just cut about one centimeter away from it so if need be you can still reduce this if it is too long and if it is not too long of course you can adjust it so from what i have right here you can see what i have right here i'm going to be using that to undo my own side now you can decide to use this to undo your side don't forget it was like this it was like this if you remember so if yours you want you don't have a shoe last as in you don't have a paper tape and you still want to continue i'm sure you can see what this look like this is the way it is but obviously it's going to be placed on it when we want to go ahead and stitch it we are going to stitch it on it one way or the other so if it's positioned like this all you need to do if you don't want to go through the stress of actually shaping it on the shoelace is to try to just cuff it down here just let it curve down here and come down here i i don't know if you can see what i've just done let me clean the previous mark that was there so that you can see it appropriately or see it clearly sorry so you can see what i've just done so i don't know if you can see so what i'll just do to this is just take your time to shape it you can use a cord to shape it so at the end of the day this will be this will look like this here Can you see what it looks like here? Of course, the remaining one will still have to go under. Of course, it cannot be as much as this. This is just a trial if you don't have a paper tape. But make sure you use a flexible tape. This cardboard is outrightly very thick. So I'm not going to be using it. If you are going to be doing this, please place it on a very a soft sheet. A soft, something soft that you can easily place here you understand and hold down to shape it out but since i have a paper tape i'm just going to go ahead and just try to place this here i'm sure you can see what i have right here so don't forget it's just a slippers i say slippers is a mole is an open tool mole you see what i have right here i can easily design it here now i used to say this you don't have to have a prior knowledge of how to draw whatever you want it to look like by the side get your usb cord almost everybody has a usb cord put it there and use it to shape it is that simple yes look at the design keep looking at it until your 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 shape look like it can you see what i have right here i'll just press it down can you see it i'm not sure <laughs> i'm sure you can see what it looks like so at the end of the day, you can decide to just bring that down, bring it, just bring, 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 let it come up, let it come like that. You can see, I don't know if you can see what I'm trying to, my pencil seems very, fa is fading. And you can see what I have here. So for the sake of, oh, you are still going to fold for the sake of, okay lining and all of that of course you should add to the front by the time we remove it we can do all of that you just had about 0 0.5 centimeter to this and for this under you can add about um, two centimeter or 2.5 centimeter just for your proper lasting process and if you want to add more than that well it's all of your choice so from what i have you can see it means it's going to be right here like this can you see what it looks like by the side this is what it will look like so it's just this one side i'm going to be using by the time i by the time we get to this one i'm going to flip it over to you so this i'm going to just go ahead and trim it out and try and see if i can actually place it on this cardboard if it will work if it will not work i definitely use another cardboard so let me quickly do that for us to see so i'm just going to try and use it like that for now 
so take your time to cut all of this gently if you're watching my channel for the first time and by now you have not subscribed why 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 if you stay this long it means this has actually been beneficial to you so please click the subscribe button also click the like button and don't forget to press the notification bell that will help you to know at every point in time that i publish a video so i'm using my scissors to cut to make it easy so from what i have here i'm just going to increase all of this by 0 0.2 0 0.5 centimeter and then i'm going to increase all this by about two centimeter or 2.5 centimeter so this is what i mean So I'm just going to increase this side by 2.5 centimeter. It might not be as much as that, but just on the saver side, then two is 0 0.5 centimeter on that particular part, just to make it easy for me to fold. You can decide to use less than that. Then after all of that, you can decide to cut. Now I need you to know that I have classes online and offline that you can join i have beginners class and a lot more so you can let me know in the comment section all that i have here this is what my design actually look like don't forget i'm going to be placing it right here and this is what i'm going to be having i'm sure you can see what this looks like now just this other part is what is going to serve as a side now for this second part i know somebody's wondering how do you do that when i want to cut my pattern i'm going to cut this this way and then this way now let me show you what it looks like on this side can you see so it's also going to be effective on this side and on this other side as well so basically that is how to actually create this particular open toe mold design the next thing is just a strap we have on top of it and that strap is actually about two centimeter strap it depends on the kind of buckle you want to use this is about 1.5 centimeter and then um, if the buckle you have is actually this size it will it will allow this to pass through just go ahead and then um, use and if it's not then you might have to actually use a wider one so that at least it will be looking looking more beautiful that's just an accessory and has a, a beautiful look on our open toe mode design so i want to believe you have actually enjoyed today's tutorial if you want me to proceed with this particular tutorial by showing you how to go about the up upper please let me know in the comment section and once again i want to say thank you to everyone who is part of my beginners course my intermediate course my more course i encourage you if you have not been in class for a while to please go to the class and learn something new it's better we continue to learn and learn and unlearn and relearn and for the weekend class trust me by next week registration will be open for the february class although i have about four slots covered already because in that class i'm not taking i don't want to be taking more than 20 i want to be able to attend to those 20 people on every weekend so get yourself prepared if you have not registered please i would suggest that you should get yourself ready so that you can register and be able to get a slot lot for the weekend class uh, of course definitely i'll try as much as possible to complete this in the weekend class for those who are there for this month we don't do the same thing every month it's not the same thing as my beginners course it's not the same thing as my intermediate course what happens there is like a refresher course okay i've learned before i am just starting i just need a support group and i want to be able to ask questions i want to be able to learn that is what the weekend class is all about we pick a design such as this i've already started with the pattern i will show them how to call the upper how to go about their stitching how to go about their lasting and bottom it that is basically what happens in the weekend class so let me know if you'll be interested in this in the february class as well and if you want me to continue with this because i find out that most times you don't comment and so there's no way i can know what's in your mind please i'm not expecting a comment at least 20 people should let me know they are interested in me completing this series and i will surely take my time to do it for us all thank you once again and i still remain your shoe making made easy to talk oh mochibola i'm gonna see you next time bye